What's up, brothers and sisters? Your brother G World Seven Underscore D. I'm gonna do a quick little video, say a few things, and I'm just gonna chill out. I'm gonna actually watch some auto race. <laughs> but I wanted to give you um, some good information to continue to do your research on how these lying ass bastards just totally, totally stole our history and then replaced it with, us with other people. That is the most damaging, devastating, destructive things these bastards have done. All right. I want you to check out what I'm saying. Remember I said that the fact is our people are having in-house fights amongst each other here. You know, and then some of our people went on the side of the British, the French, or the Spanish, you know. But here, here we go. I got my book, my old Compton's Encyclopedia book. And we're going to go to this great state of Ohio, the Buckeye State. Home of the Wild State Buckeyes. All right. The people... Of the Buckeye State. Let me get it clear. The prehistoric residents of present day Ohio were mound builders. Somewhat later, the Erie Indians occupied the southern shore of the lake. They were conquered by the Iroquois Confederacy. Of five nations about 1656. During the 1700s, French and English explorers found many Indian tribes in the area. The Miami lived in western Ohio. The Shawnee, Shawnee, Geechee, Shawnee, in the south. Ottawa in the northwest. Iroquois tribes such as the Wyandot. Huron in the center and northeast, and Delaware in the Muskingum Valley. Famous Indians leaders, excuse me, famous Indians, excuse me, famous Indian leaders in this area included Tecumseh, all right, a Shawnee. Okay, was it Tecumseh, a Shawnee? Frontier fighting. Oh, my bad. Tecumseh, a Shawnee. Little Turtle, a Miami. In Leatherlip, a Wyandot. Frontier fighting between whites and Indians ended in 1794 when General Mad Anthony Wayne broke the power of the British Indian Alliance in the Battle of the Fallen Timbers in Northwestern Ohio. The last tribal lands in Ohio were ceded by the Wyandot in 1842. All right, now I'm going to stop there. Now, I talked about the Tecumseh, right? <laughs> you know, if you go online, they'll show you a fake, light-skinned picture of the damn man, okay? Now, I showed you the pictures of the Fox Indians the other day. That's not their real na name, but those Indians of the Midwest. And I showed you the Chippewa, how they had those big... Seven of them had a big coned out afros. That many of these sites you've seen those pics found representing the type of materials they use in their hair, which they could not have used that on hair people filled with lice. So they use that on those Aboriginal blacks that had coned out afros. I showed you that. Now, if you go online, you look at uh, Tecumseh, you will see a pale skinned. White man or so-called mixed Asian man. All right. Now I'm going to show you <laughs> these Indians that was in the Midwest of the Ohio region. Now also I'm gonna go before I do that. I want to show you images they have in this book. It was talking about these serpent mounds. Now I mentioned before in previous videos talked about these serpent kings. All right. In this video they talk about the famous serpent mounds. Now I mentioned them before the serpent kings. That was in ancient Egypt. That was part of ancient Egypt. Here are the serpent mounds. And remember I showed you the serpent is on the head of the ancient Egypts. On the one that crowns the two lands. All right. Now, I'm going to show you Tecumseh, man. Uh, this is this, this how much these bastards be lying. This is what you got to do. really got to do your whole research. These are black people right here. These are the aboriginal black people of the Midwest. You get it clear. A little glaring. Tecumseh. Look at these Negroes, man. Look at these Negroes, man. 
<laughs> but but yeah, they want they want they want they show you a fake ass picture of Tecumseh. They show you a fake ass white man. But yet, hear these black folks here. Now, that dude who played the Lone Ranger, besides um, besides uh, what well, the guy who played or Tonto and the Lone Ranger, he looks nothing like these people. He looks nothing like these people. Here's Tecumseh in his army, man. Here's Tecumseh in his army. As you see, how they look like. In no way are these hell, hell these people were white. These are straight up Negroes, man. Look at the feather on their damn head. There was various different types of black people here in America. Stop sending you a slave from Africa, man. I'm tired of that. You had your black empires here in Americas. Like I said, the other day, I showed you the Chippewas. Now I'm showing you Tecumseh. In the black tribes in the Midwest. In the future videos, I'm going to break it down even more, man. About these very different black tribes in the Midwest and in Southern Canada. And in the Northwest. And our West. And in the, well, I was talking about the Southwest. With the Anastasi. Listen, the, America was, both North and South America was nothing but so-called Negroes, so-called Moors, black folks. I know some of us don't want to use the term Moors. I'm just, I, look here. They were black people, period. So-called black people. Aboriginal people. Who occupied all of America, all of Africa, all of Europe, all of Asia, all of Pacific, and all of Australia. There was the only people around for thousands of years. Now, some of us got to get out that sick mindset thinking that we only came here over through a boat. We were already here. The original blacks who were enslaved were here. Like I showed you, I just showed you Tecumseh. All right? And I went to the state of Ohio. I'm talking about Midwestern Indians. And I showed you the Chippewa, and I showed you the Fox Indians. These are nothing but Negroes all over. So we have to understand our true history. I look at, I commend, like I said before in another video, that Umar wants to start a school. But man, when you teach them in that school, stop teaching them that they're descendant of African slaves. And to a lot of Africans and some Caribbeans, study real aboriginal black american history because most of you do not know you do not know and every time you open your mouth there's a lot of ignorance coming out about us and this don't apply to all but there's so many who say so many ignorant things because you don't know our history hell some of us don't know our true history because we keep saying that we descended of african slaves which we are not See, these white folks know they stole this land from us. I said it before another video. I said it before another video. Say yes, we deserve reparations. Yes, we deserve cash payments. Yes, we deserve gold. We deserve our damn land and our full identity back. Which they were stolen. From outsiders. I'm going to continue to bang on this subject, man. And continue to bring it all on home. This is our history and we need it all back. And I'm tired of sellouts, man. Continue to distort our history. The information is there. Now granted I had, I have a little bit better access to get this information. That I was able to obtain this information. And I'm able to put it together. Because I can understand BS when I see it. And I got a book talking about the other Trail of Tears dealing with the black people in the um, Midwest. So, I'm going to talk about that in the future too. But, the Southeast, the Northeast, the Midwest, the Southwest, the Northwest, the West, well, all of America were originally black, period. Aboriginal. Negro people. Period. This is not up for discussion. 
We need to really take our history back and stop saying you're a descendant of African slaves. Don't listen to those individuals, man. Like I said before, turn away from them. And these names are so obvious, man. Shawnee, Geechee, Shawnee, Geechee. God damn, this stuff is in your face, man. Peace and love, brothers and sisters.